Okay, so hello YouTube, and today, today I'm doing a, another YouTube video that's a review over um, a toy. A toy review, yay, toys! Um, so this review is uh, for the first time, the first time I think I've ever done any kind of action figure review. But these are my, this is my whole G.I. Joe collection right now, except for one vehicle, which is a really big one that came out in 1984. That was a, that's a really big vehicle. The hovercraft vehicle i got that at my grandma's but that vehicle's really big and stuff and i'd be so hard i'd have to do a whole review over just that but um here we go and if you didn't know i've been collecting gi joe figures for about two three weeks now um i don't got many of them because they're so um expensive but this is just my collection so far i'm saving 70 dollars to buy a tank at an antique store i have 35 right now so I have thirty-five dollars right now, so I just need another thirty-five dollars, and I shall um, be able to purchase it. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do that tank later. I'm gonna start with some of the figures. So here we go. This is um, Storm Shadow. I don't know if you collect GI Joes, you probably know who Storm Shadow is. He's a ninja guy. I'm not really gonna go into detail of the backstories of the characters. That'll be something for another time. But he has this little sword, which I don't even know who came with him. I just gave him the sword. This did come with him, and this is a 2002 Storm Shadow figure. I always thought he was a good guy, but no, he's a bad guy that became a good guy or something. So that's pretty much it for that figure. This is Blowtorch. Um, this is a 2004 or 2002 Blowtorch. I forget. Uh, I don't got all of his accessories. Well, I got them all over there in a Ziploc bag. But I got his backpack here, flamethrower. The military really doesn't use flamethrowers now. They stopped using them, like, in Vietnam or something around that time. So there's not really any flamethrowers in the military anymore. But I still use this because G.I. Joe's an action figure. Any kind of military action figure is not that realistic. So, um, yeah, pretty cool figure here. Uh, he has a removable helmet. And the original one of him had brown hair, but he has um, blonde hair now, so... That's, um, that's pretty interesting. Here we go. This, oh, yeah, and this little wire here goes into his vest, so you can take that off, but I'm not going to. And I'm just going to toss him over there as my other figures. Um, here we have Crankcase, which is missing his helmet. Wait, I got his helmet at my grandma's house. I was over there yesterday, and I left my his helmet over there. I guess I will get it tomorrow, whenever I go over tomorrow or something. This is Crankcase. He's a driver to the vehicles that I got at one of the vehicles I got over there. This is my second G.I. Joe figure I got. And he has a removable vest. Pretty much. Not too much to him. Um, after, actually, I have a shoe box. And once I fill that shoe box with G.I. Joes, I'm going to do a whole review over the figures. So that would be like something, probably like a two part video. Because um, YouTube won't allow me to upload any YouTube videos longer than, I think, five, not five minutes. I mean,. Not any longer than 15 minutes, so YouTube won't probably let me upload any video longer than that. And then I'm gonna go and move on to the next character. Um, this is Snake Eyes. I thought he was a bad guy, but now he was a good guy. So me being like, you know, what? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make an army of Snake Eyes. I always thought he was just like a standard soldier for the Cobras, which are the bad guys of GI Joe. If you didn't know that, but you're, if you're watching this video, you probably know what GI Joes are. If you're watching this video. And this is Snake Eyes. Um, I don't got his accessories on him. He's kind of hard to see because the light on. Let me just put my face in front of the window real quick. So it's a little easier to see him. So here he is. He has a cool little helmet and face mask. His head moves up and down. Not really much to... Well, there's a lot to this figure, but um, it's kind of hard to do a whole review over him. So that's the figure. That's Storm Shadow. And hold on. I'm getting the dog over here. This is the little doggy. I don't know his actual name, but I just call him Rommel. Because whenever my dad was a kid, he had this figure. And I still can't find his old figures. He gave me a bunch of his old figures like six, seven years ago or something whenever I was really little. And I don't know whatever happened to him. I don't know if they're in my mom's old car. I don't know if they're in my mom's best friend's basement or I don't I don't know if they're in my mom's friend's basement. I have no clue. I don't even know if I still got them anymore. I found a few little pieces, but that's it. But Rommel here, um, there's Rommel. It's, it's Rommel, the little Rottweiler. Hi, Rommel. Rommel. There we go. Um, here's my first figure, the Cobra Tank Driver. That's, it's the Cobra 
tank over there, but this is the my first figure here. He's from the new series and from this year. Pretty cool figure. Um, definitely really like this figure. Um, he's probably, um, whenever I play with these guys, uh, he's probably died a thousand times already. Because I, I don't have many figures. I don't have many bad guy figures yet and stuff. And the soldiers are like $50 a piece now. The original soldiers are like $50 a piece now. So I'm trying to find a place that will hire me for a while. I gotta try to find a job that will hire me at 11 or 12. So yeah, I'll be like I'll be twelve in nine months. So if I can find a place that will hire hire twelve year olds, I will have to wait nine months. And then the last figure, no, one of the last figures, I don't know his name. I don't know this guy's name. He's one of my new figures, or he's one of my newer figures I got. He's from nineteen ninety eight. I have no why. I have no idea why. I have no idea why. Wow. I really don't know what the, who he is. He has no, I can only see 1998. That's all I can see. Uh, that's all I can find on this figure, 1998. But he's a pretty cool figure. Uh, he has this backpack, which didn't come with him. I just put it on there. Because I got an accessory pack. Uh, the last figure, which is my first vintage figure I got, which is like the originals. Between 1982 and 1994, this is a 1991 character, and his name is Nunchuck. He's a ninja, and all the nin most of the ninjas, they like the ninjas from the 90s, like the Ninja Force figures. Which, if you if you know what GI Joe is, you probably know what that is, and if you don't, well, just look it up. But there were a series of figures, and most of them were really like colorful and stuff, like orange ninjas and stuff, and they all look pretty stupid, but. This guy was like the only one. He looks like if you, if you, some guy said, if you need a ninja on your military, G.I. Joe military team, he said this is the figure to get. Because I think the, the older ninja figures like Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes were like really good figures. But the older, like the newer ninja figures aren't as good. But this guy, he's, he has modern military equipment, the vest, like he has a flashlight and stuff on his vest. This is probably one of the best characters of the 90s. Probably the best character that came out in the 90s that I know of right now. One, of, Probably my favorite figure. Um, I didn't know his name until I had to do a little bit of research to find out who he is. And if you get one of these figures, you're going to be able to do this with his arm. What, which arm is it? Nope, not that one. They have a spring-loaded arm. So, like, you can do little karate chops with them. A lot of the Ninja Force figures did have those. So if you want to pose these guys, turn the arm backwards. And you'll hear a little clicking noise sometimes. And then that's how you can adjust how far down it goes. So if you want, you can still pose them. There you go. You can still pose them by doing that. So pretty cool figure. And now I'm going to move on to the vehicle that I had in the beginning of the video. The tank. It won't even fit on the screen. This is the Cobra tank, um, I think it's called the Hiss tank, like snakes, the noise snakes make, snakes are very scary, um, the barrel moves up and down, Ugh, this opens up, there's a little, you can put a little driver in there, there you go, driver can fit in there, I'm not, you can, I'm just gonna set this right here. And then characters can also go up, sit up here in a turret, and they can use this. Which you can, in the cartoon, I've seen this as a machine gun or a laser gun, a laser gun, and a rocket firing missile propelling laser cannon. <laughs> um, in the cartoon that I've watched a few episodes of. So yeah, that's about it for the tank. There's some well, pretty cool stickers on the side of it, and then there's a number numbers on it. What is 788? It says 788, so 788. I wish I had that much money. I wish I had $788. Um, and then one of the wheels on the bottom is missing, but that's eh, alright, because it still rolls perfectly. <laughs> Last vehicle, I forget the name of this vehicle. But this is my second G.I. Joe vehicle. It came with crankcase here. I gotta find his helmet. But this is a really cool playset. Um, I like to just drive it around like this on the floor. Um, I use it kind of like a little 
kind of like an anti-tank vehicle. So these, whenever they release these, they release two perfect vehicles. Um, some of the stickers on the front, I put on like the, I customized where I put them at because I hate in following, I hate following instructions where to put stickers at because it's so hard. So I think some of the stickers I just threw away because I didn't know how to put them on. But that's all right. Yeah, this is a pretty cool vehicle. Um, stickers, pretty cool. And it has this little gun up here, which I just use as like a little anti-laser gun, um, anti-tank laser gun, which um, I just use it as a um, gun that fires. Like, you know, on AC-130s, if you play Call of Duty on AC-130s, they have that one gun that's super cool that it shoots out these little mortar round things. That's kind of what I can see this gun being. But I don't know where the mortars will be stored. You know what? Like a little... Just, Let's just say, you guys back here, there's a box of mortars here. There's a box of mortars. There's an engine somewhere. There's some mortars. Or the guy just keeps mortars in his pocket. And what he does, he puts a mortar in there and pew! Or more or less whenever I'm playing with it. Pew! That's what I do when I'm playing with it. Um, Pretty cool. The gun moves up and down. It turns around. You got these little antennas. Uh, and you got this small little machine gun. Laser gun. I mean machine gun. <laughs> right here. That moves up and down to the turn. Nope, it doesn't turn. And you got this wire that always falls off of it, but you can just put it back on by sliding it over this real quick. There we go. But it's a pretty cool little vehicle. And that is about it for the review because I'm starting to run out of time. Um, hold on, let me actually, I'm going to go get my custom vehicle real quick. There we go. Okay, here's the custom vehicle. Um, it's a Fortnite car, Fortnite go-kart, and I painted it green to look like a military vehicle. And this vehicle oh, is RC. So you know you can hit this button, and you can flip this vehicle upside down. Part one. It starts to make noise. And then, it drives. I'm trying not to run over my iPad. It drives around. You know, I made this yesterday. I just painted it. Because I, uh, I used to play a lot of Fortnite, and after season three, it was horrible. Or not after season three, after season four, I, I, didn't, I don't play it anymore because well, they messed it up and they had the Marvel costumes. I just think that was, that was horrible. The cars are cool in the game, but that's about it. So, yep, that about wraps up the video. And um, make sure to subscribe and like the video and watch some other of my YouTube videos so I can. Um, Try and get more views on YouTube and more subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe or Mr. Beast will never bring you a car. That that sounds like a good that's I'm gonna start saying at the end of all my videos. Alright, but subscribe and if not Mr. Beast will never give away a car again. And um